Hi, it's Michael Polarski from Friends of the Trees Botanicals with another video. This is July 16th, 2020. We're in Chimicum on the Olympic Peninsula, a cool maritime climate. And today I'm going to spend some time introducing Ferula asafoetida, the secret ingredient in Worcestershire sauce or Worcester sauce. So at any rate, this is a very strong herb and spice used in Middle Eastern and Indian cooking. These particular plants here I grew from seed. This is their fourth year. It takes four years, at least it did here, for several of them to come into bloom and set seed. The other four-year-old plants here just didn't quite get big enough and so I'm assuming that uh, next year these will probably send up a flowering stalk. So it can that'll take it five years in that case. So it's a long live. It's it's a it only flowers once and then it dies. This is its chance. This is the reason it wait waited all those four years is to set these seeds. And I'm just going to pull one little umble or one little umbelette. This is a compound umbels here. You see this this umbel has got this many. You know, this has got uh, approximately 12, 15 seeds. And this and that is just one of these of which uh, I calculated there's something like 9,000 seeds here, well, 8,000, maybe 7,000, quite a few seeds here, if they all ripen and everything goes well. So we hope so. So that's a lot of seeds here, folks. And I just did some research online and uh, uh, read some articles. From, it's from the high plateaus of Iran and Afghanistan, and it's endangered. Uh, it's, they said, this is people from Iran, they said this is in danger of going extinct. Uh, it is tapped for its rosin. So they cut the stalk in a flowering year, they extract the, the sap, the rosin that exudes, and then just cut their way down, getting all that rosin, as much rosin as they can out of a plant. So it's multiple tappings, you might say, or cutting and scraping. They said that the largest of them get about nine inches in diameter at the base of the stalk. So it's, that's probably something like about that big. This one's pretty good size here. This is maybe, I don't know, I have to get a tape measure, four inches uh, at the base here. So these can get quite a bit bigger. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic medicinal. It's related to silphium, which is a famous medicinal spice that was made extinct during Roman times, one of the very first plants over harvested to, to extinction as far as we know, and this is a close relative, so we don't want this to go that way. So we need to get more of these into production ourselves rather than going after the remaining ones in the wild, which are in danger of going extinct. So you can be part of the, the uh, asafoetida uh, regeneration, restoration, keeping it alive uh, in your garden. So we'll be sowing these seeds uh, later this year. Uh, the very best way to do it is to plant it right after ripening uh, and don't let it sit around. But if you do let it sit over winter, then you should cold stratify it for 30 days at least, 60 days is a little better. Um, and they say you could even add a little rooting hormone to that uh, seed to help it go. I haven't experimented with that. So it's not the easiest seed in the world to get to go. But if you get some this fall from me, well, they're still uh, fresh, uh, which at the rate this is going, it looks like it'll be sometime in August that these will be ready. So um, any anyway, rate, it's, it's a fabulous herb. We'll show some pictures of the in flower. It's just really spectacular. Um, these, you know, the lower parts on this are all dying back. The energy is going into the seed. So they don't look really pretty at the moment, uh, except for the seeds look awful pretty. So, anyway, there's Ferula asafoetida, and uh, maybe you can grow some in your garden. Bye-bye.